Manchester United versus Crystal Palace has just ended and we just got smacked for nothing. I don't even know what to say right now because this is the 14th place team in the Premier League and we have to go play Man City in the FA Cup final and I think we're going to lose like 9 nothing. We had no energy, no shape, players were never available for open passes, our offense was terrible, our defense was garbage. Olise absolutely destroyed us. He got two goals. His second goal was beautiful. And uh, a lot of people were saying this was like his audition so that we could go get him in the summer. And if I'm him, why the heck would I want to go to United? I could stay at Crystal Palace, the team that had the double against us. They beat us two times this season, which they've never done in their history. They handed us our 13th league defeat, which is the most league defeats United has ever had in the Premier League. Why the hell would I want to leave the Crystal Palace to go to Man United? Why? To get a bit more money, but get a lot more embarrassed? Now, I do think United is probably still trying to sign him. Uh, Fabrizio Romano let us know that United and a whole bunch of other teams are, you know, scouting him. They want to sign him in the summer. And, uh, you know, if Man City comes around, Arsenal, Real Madrid, like who knows? Why the heck would he choose United over those clubs? He is a very, very good winger. He's someone that United could definitely use. He made our team look like five-year-olds. He walked right past like half our team. Basically, what I'm trying to say is Olise is a very, very good player, and we would be lucky to get him in the summer. Here is the stats for today's game. They had nine shots on target. Four of them went into the back of the net. We only had seven shots total in the whole damn game. Only two on target. How the heck are you going to win games when you only take seven shots? I just can't believe how bad this team plays. And I know we have injuries and I know people like to use that as an excuse. But at the same time, our starting 11 for this game is better than Crystal Palace's starting 11. So the fact that we got destroyed for nothing when we have a better starting 11 is pretty embarrassing. We are now in 8th place with a minus 3 goal difference, which is an absolute joke. Like, this is Manchester United, man. And we have a similar goal difference to teams like Brighton and Fulham. Like, huh? Just a very embarrassing season overall. Like, we can't attack, we can't defend, we can't control games, we can't even pass the ball. We don't even have players playing in the right position. Like, it's an absolute joke. And I know I say this in pretty much every match reaction for the past two months, but Eric Ten Hag is 1000% gone in the summer, I promise you. There is no way that Ineos is going to stick with him after breaking records for all the wrong reasons. Most defeats in a single campaign, uh, most goals against us in a whole season, most likely we're at like, uh, I think like 80 something now, like maybe 80 or 81 goals against us, which is like wild. So why the heck would they want to risk it all and just, you know, keep them for next season, give them another 100, 150 million this summer to buy players, and then maybe he gets sacked next year, and then the new manager comes in, and then he's like, oh, I don't want all these trash players, and then that other 100, 150 mil that we spend this summer goes to waste again. I think what they're going to do is get rid of them, get a new coach, maybe it's Thomas Tuchel, maybe it's Zidane, I don't know, and then try a proper rebuild with Ineos, um, you know, doing it properly this time because we've had like five different rebuilds but we don't give enough time to actually make it happen and i know some of you guys are saying oh we'll give ten hag time oh but i don't think he's gonna last like if we get just demolished in the fa cup final let's say we finish like 10th in the league with a negative goal difference and all that he's not staying ineos if they are serious they're gonna get a new manager and start from there they're not going to stick with Eric Ten Hag and give him another $200 million this summer and buy a bunch of players. They ain't going to do that. They're going to get rid of him, get a new manager, then start a new rebuild. And I kind of feel bad for him, but at the same time, I don't because, you know, your starting 11 is better than Crystal Palace. And the fact that you got smacked 4 nothing and a whole bunch of other games this season have been tactically very poor. Substitutions have been poor. Man management has been poor. I think he's gone. But yeah, guys, that is my reaction to Man United versus Crystal Palace. Uh, like I said, we lost 4 nothing. Absolutely embarrassing. Even if we lose 4 nothing against Man City, that's embarrassing, let alone a team like Crystal Palace. We've lost to them two times in the same season. We just got our 13th defeat. We still got to play Arsenal, Newcastle, and Brighton. I could honestly see us losing all three of those. No Champions League, most likely no Europa League. 
this is an absolute disaster of a season. And then we've got like 70 plus injuries on top of that. Let me know what you guys thought about today's game today. And do you think Eric Ten Hag is going to get sacked? This season is an absolute joke. It is super embarrassing. I just want the next season to start and hopefully we can finish in the top four. And we also need to sell like pretty much the whole squad. There was a big report going around that Ineos is going to basically put everyone for sale besides Mainu, uh, Garnacho, and Hoyland. That's it. Everyone else is fair game. And I can see why. Our players are pretty damn bad. They're performing terribly. Let me know your thoughts about today's game and the future of the club down below.